Hi, I'm Matt, I'm Chief Exec at The Feed. We're a social enterprise and charity in Norwich. We work with people who are homeless or have faced homelessness. Uh, we work with people who are ex offenders people with drug and alcohol misuse histories, people with mental health problems and all other kind of challenges in their lives. Uh, the work we do with them is we provide training and support. So the training is things like customer service skills, barista skills, uh, food handling, cooking, things that will enable them to get work in the food and hospitality industry. Um, the project that we crowdfunded for was uh, called Off the Street into the Kitchen and the project was to open a new training centre and cafe in Norwich so that we could bring all our activities together on one site. And the key things for us was, was use the project as a chance to get your communications right so you've probably got you know you as an organization you might already have logos you might already have key messages you might already have things that you always write about your organization but it's worth spending time going through all of those things making sure that they they're they're correct basically before you even begin Member of my team, George, um, was key to the whole campaign. Really, she's she's on maternity leave now, which is why I'm doing this webinar rather than her. But she, you know, she's a comms person. She's, you know, she does this through and through. Um, and I think having her and I worked on a lot of the messaging together and why we were doing it, and what our approach would be. I think that's kind of key is building your team. I think if you're doing it on your own, it's, it's quite hard. I think if you've got a couple of people you can bounce ideas off get excited about it, you join both your contacts or all your contacts and you know, get out there and talk to people about it. Um, we then uh, spoke to everybody we knew, found some um, students who were just about finishing their, their course and were extremely professional um, and they were able to come in and um, you know shoot it in a very, very professional way for a very, very reasonable cost, I've got to say. And I think if you can find you know, it, it, it's important. You could do it low budget, but in an ideal world, even if you're on a low budget, you need to find people who know what they're doing and who and who can um, think it through. I don't think the shooting necessarily needs to be high budget. So I don't think. I think we were lucky that we had people who could shoot it on good equipment and could edit it on, you know, professionally. I think you could do that side of it. You know, using whatever equipment you've got available and, and editing it. You know, kind of on your own computer system. But I think what's really important is you've thought through the structure of the video. So like you said, keeping it short, but also each part of the video is only a few seconds long. So when I'm talking, that's only a few seconds. When the next person talks, it's only a few seconds. So you need to kind of timeline out how the video is going to run, not just start filming and hope for the best, which I don't, I don't think would really end up being very engaging. Um, I think it's quite easy to do a bad pitch. I think, um, it, to me, the, the worst thing is if you waste the opportunity. So when you have a chance, whether it's on a video, on the crowdfunder, or even just in front of somebody, you know, you, you know if you've got it wrong. Um, if, if you've come away from that opportunity and, and you haven't raised awareness of your projects and people um, don't understand it or don't feel engaged in it, then you've wasted your opportunity. The good thing about doing video compared to doing it face to face is that you get a chance to test it out on a few people first. So I think what would be absolutely crucial is do your video, show it to a few people who will give you honest feedback, make sure that, it, that, that it's right before you go ahead and use it. And the same for your crowdfunder page as well. Make sure that when you write it out that you, you get people who, are, who won't be afraid to tell you that it's rubbish if it is because you need to know that before you put it out there. Um, like you said, it, it's a it's a opportunity to um, promote yourself as much as anything. The whole crowdfunding is, and you also need to think about things like um, what press releases you can get out during your crowdfunding campaign and what other publicity you can do during your campaign. Um, and 
to me, that was crucial. So we had a launch party to launch the crowdfunder. People didn't know that was what we were going to launch, but we, we had over 100 people in a venue um, and, and we unveiled the crowdfunding when they were there and had, you know, they were all drinking a couple of drinks. So they were all quite happy to sign up and make pledges. Um, and then we talked to journalists before we'd even start the campaign to make sure they were going to be on board and promote us several times during the campaign. They're, they're the things that I think make the crowdfunder worthwhile. It's not just about trying to get some cash in, it's about your chance to raise your profile. So a bad pitch to me would be if you just sit there, do a video, do a um, web page, but don't go out and talk to people about what you're doing and why you're doing it. Use people we knew who had authority in what they were talking about, but also most importantly, we used some of our service users to explain what they've got out of being on our program. And they're the voices people want to hear. They're the voices that your funders will will believe and listen to and think this is a project worth funding. But we did spend a bit of time with them beforehand, getting them getting them g'd up, getting them chatting about what they liked about the project. So that when they did it on camera wasn't scripted they were just naturally natural and I think what it was amazing how good they were they were just naturally came out and said things that we couldn't have even written um, which which was brilliant